Well, greetings everybody. Joseph, Green Mountain Gold Trap, and I'm headed to a spot. I told Nick that there was a, a spot where I got a bunch of gold one day. I'm not going to say how many colors I found in this spot because, well, that's just information we keep to ourselves, right? <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to head there today. Um, it's some place that I couldn't possibly take you, Nick. It's far too dangerous. It's Let's just call this a rad adventure in Vermont. <laughs> All right, Josh, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go get some gold. I'm not going to bring a gold trap with me. I'm just going to hike in with my backpack and pans and shovel and some crevice tools and just see what we can get. And I'm starting with an empty snuffer bottle, so we'll see what we, uh, what we can get by the end of the day. So take care. Let's go. years old or better this thing's huge <laughs> it's big check this out that's big and it's old I'm surprised it's still standing it's still alive it looks dead down here but it still has leaves on it. I think I just inhaled a bug. Protein! <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to continue on my quest. I'm standing underneath a Widowmaker right now. And I don't like it. Good thing the wind's not blowing. Got to go. Alright, y'all. I'm close to my, my drop-in point. 
and I'm looking straight ahead. I've got the camera oh, virtually perfectly level here to give you an idea of how steep this is. I'm going to pan back and look uphill, keeping the camera level. And now I'll turn around, keeping the camera level. The river is down there. Pretty much a drop off right here. All this is, I mean, this is just, I mean, some of you have seen this before. But that's where I'm headed. And then I'm walking up. Hopefully where no other people have been. Certainly prospecting, that is. All right, so let me uh, get moving. All right, that was fun, as always. Your toes jammed as far forward and your shoes as they will go. <laughs> That's all cliff there. Same with over here. And over here. All right, so I'm taking a little break because I've got to change into my water shoes up here. And I've got to walk through this deeper hole. I don't know how deep it's going to be now because the water's way down. Doesn't look like it's going to be too bad. Now, Good. And I'm headed up around this corner. I've never been beyond this point. I've been right around this corner. There's a little pocket over there I work, but I haven't been up any further than this. So that's my goal. Try to find some good spots up in here that hopefully is virgin ground. So I'll get back to you in a bit.
this is a an inside bend and this is a good outcropping of bedrock right here but there's this trough of material right here that I've already pulled off all the bigger rocks on top and you know a bunch of the little cobbles and stuff did one pan got five colors probably too small to see now this river is known for you know quite a bit of flower gold but you can find bigger pieces too so we shall see what comes of this I don't know as if you're gonna you probably be able to see one of them in there maybe one of them's about 30 mesh close to 30 mesh so I'll keep going with this and see what I get here and there's also a boil hole right here it might have something in it nice stagnant nasty water catch you in a bit
nothing big. I don't know if it's focusing because I got a major glare and I can't see what you're seeing. But I don't know if I want to bother with that crevice or not. Because I know I can I can find more elsewhere. I might just uh, walk up a little bit further and see what I can find. And maybe on the way back I'll hit it. Who knows? But we'll see. Time will tell. Catch you in a bit. All right. So I've hiked up further, and I think I found a really good spot here. Inside bend, a lot of bigger rocks dropping out, bedrock cropping. But up here, we've got some higher pockets. Probably pretty shallow, but I'll tell you, I found some shallow pockets in this river that have produced some pretty decent, uh, pretty decent pans. So I'm going to clean these areas out, do my best to clean them out, and see what we can get. There's a nice little pocket right there too. Um, probably, well, it's a boil hole. Probably pretty smooth, but we'll see. And I'll just poke around here and see what I can get. Alright, so I took my first pan out of here, and I haven't even gotten to the bottom of it. It's going to be kind of tricky to do, but I've got my little trowel shovel, so hopefully I can get it the best I can. But Got 13 pieces in that one pan, and it's not all flour either. It's you know it's small gold, but it's not not micro dots by any means. All up in here, so that's good. 13 in one pan, not bad. All right, so I'm gonna keep on working that, and there's other. I mean, geez, there's here, up in here, up there. Oh yeah, I've got some stuff to work. Get back to you. I'm not going to show you guys every pan, but I'll definitely show you the uh, the gold at the end of the day. Because like I said, I've started with an empty snuffer bottle today. So, all right, back to you in a bit. All right, so I'm going to give up for the day. I haven't done anywhere near as good as I've done here before, but just panning, and that's pretty good, don't get me wrong. I have no idea how many pieces are there. It's a lot of micro dot flower gold, but I'd say over 300 easy. Probably more than that. So, we've got all my stuff pretty much together here. I'm going to hike out the easier way. I stashed my shoes way down there. And when I realized I was closer to the easy way out, I stashed my stuff, tucked it away where nobody could possibly see it and hiked back down and got my shoes well I got them now so I'm gonna get out of here so we'll catch y'all later thanks for watching um, thank you to my subscribers and please leave a comment like su subscribe share all that good stuff and we'll catch you next time Green Mountain Gold Trap is headed home